The ability to get and hold a good stable job is a major barrier to re-entry for former offenders. Now, at two core civic facilities in Georgia, that barrier is a bit easier to overcome. Brand new inmate vocational training centers were dedicated recently on the campuses of Coffee and Wheeler Correctional Facility. The buildings will house new programs in welding and diesel maintenance, both high demand fields in the state of Georgia. And each program culminates with an industry recognized certification from one of two local community colleges, certifications that will go with graduates when they leave prison. Well, both of these programs are strategic industries in Georgia. They've been labeled that by the governor, meaning that there are big needs for these skilled workers in both welding and diesel equipment technology. Christopher Ricketts is an inmate at Wheeler Correctional Center. He is enrolled for welding and will be in the very first class through the new program. I was overall uh, exceptionally well in doing it in high school. And I was really excited when they first, uh, when I found out that we were going to have it offered here, and I immediately wanted to try to reacquire some skills that I had uh, a few years ago that would help me when I get out. Ricketts is right. National research shows that the vocational training he is receiving while incarcerated at Wheeler will increase his odds of securing employment by 28% after release. That same research shows that education in any form decreases the rate of recidivism by 43%, meaning he is less likely to return to prison and more likely to be around for those he cares about. My father, he's, he's 61, he recently had a birthday, so I, me and him are really close and I help take care of him. For educators at Wheeler Correctional Facility, the benefits of education are clear and they look forward to the day when their students receive their diplomas and certificates. The last six years, uh, because of my own choices, have, have led me here, but I'm, I'm actually I'm incredibly thankful to be here. Uh, the education I've helped acquire and the programs that I'm in while I'm here, I never would have done if I hadn't came to prison, uh, and especially here. So I'm very thankful to be here and uh, taking the education and everything that I'm doing while I'm here is going to have a huge impact on the rest of my life when I get home.